Hello, my name is Dwight Bush, and I am the U.S. Ambassador to the Kingdom of Morocco. I want to take this opportunity to welcome all participants to COP22. Last year's COP21 agreement in Paris was a defining moment in international climate negotiations, and now the sage is step for a COP of action and implementation. Now, here at Marrakesh, we are turning our attention from negotiations to implementation of the Paris Agreement and ways to drive ambitious action by governments, civil society, and the private sector to work and sync towards common goals. I truly believe that Morocco is the perfect host for this year's COP. Under the leadership and vision of King Mohammed VI, Morocco has taken whole bold steps to becoming a leader in clean energy, committing to ensure that 52% of its generation capacity is from renewables by 2030. The first manifestation of these impressive efforts is the NOR solar complex, the first phase of which was inaugurated last February, and when complete, it will be the world's largest concentrated solar power plant with the potential to produce enough energy to power over one million homes by 2018. Morocco's national ban on plastic bags under the Zero Mika campaign is another example of its bold action to protect the environment. And we're proud of our own collaboration with Morocco to protect the national parks including through the first U.S. Morocco Sister Park Initiative, linking the Great Basin National Park in Nevada with Tupac National Park located nearby Marrakesh. Moreover, the U.S. Forest Service and the Moroccan High Commission for Water, Forest, and the Fight Against Certification have successfully collaborated to protect Morocco's rich forests. And during COP22, the Millennium Challenge Corporation's Government of Morocco partner, MCA Morocco, will highlight its $127 million investment in sustainable industrialized zones that will do reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The U.S. mission in Morocco is also doing its part to support COP22's goals through our support of local organizations and emerging Moroccan leaders who are putting environmental protection into practice. For example, we're supporting Moroccan NGO Dar Se Hamad, which developed a way for rural women to convert fog to precious drinking water for remote communities in southern Morocco. This innovative project is being recognized by a UN Climate Change Award, recognizing the contributions of women for change. We have also worked with social entrepreneur Saeed Abid, who represented Morocco at this year's Our Oceans Conference in Washington, D.C. Saad has channeled his passion for surfing into an impressive effort to protect Morocco's rich coastline through his NGO Association Bahri, which means my ocean in Arabic. We are also putting action into place in our own house. For example, our new embassy was built to the US LED standards with the latest advances in energy and natural resource conservation. A high school student at the Rabat America School named Camille Shari started his own recycling program where he collects used batteries and printer cartridges that are turned into office supplies. This year, our embassy's green team began recycling our printer cartridges with this bright young Moroccan entrepreneur. So, I see COP22 not only as a turning point in international client cooperation, but also a global call to action and no country is more committed to this call than the United States of America. The United States government, under the leadership of President Obama, is committed to ensuring progress on the climate agenda. To that end, the American delegation to COP22 will be led by Secretary of State John Kerry, and it will include other cabinet and senior State Department officials, including Secretary of Energy Ernest Muniz and Special Envoy Jonathan Pershing. COP22 is a chance to demonstrate that together we can take action to protect our planet in a way that improves the lives and livelihoods of all citizens. And above all, this is an opportunity for all of us to take concrete steps towards leaving our children a better planet than the one that we find today. If you want to learn more about the COP22 negotiations and how ordinary people around the world and in Morocco are working in their own communities, to combat climate change, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also take part in discussions with American climate change experts who are here in Marrakesh 
by visiting the U.S. Center or online at www.state.gov/uscenter.